How's it going, Memphis Final Jim and the Misses? Uh, it's Aaron, Buddy Bopper, Buddy Holly, Big Bopper. Um, man, it's hot up here in Minnesota right now. It's like 110 with the heat index. It's just ridiculous. I just got off work and um, just had to put like shorts and a t-shirt on immediately. It's just I'm gonna stay inside in the air conditioning where it's cool. Um, anyway, this is an entry into the July contest. Show, uh, the Ruby Escape pool. Now, I, I, I've had a few, more than a few pulled out, I guess you could say. Um, but I narrowed it down just to just three, and I'm sure I'm going to show more here coming up. Because, you know, once I see something like this, it kind of gets me inspired to keep rolling. But anyway, the first one I'm going to start with is by a band that I was really into back in the 90s. Um, and this is their last uh, full-length album. This is Oasis, Dig Out Your Soul. It's a gatefold. Um, double 200 gram, 45 RPM vinyl on here which is really cool but look at that cover it's really cool it's like uh, a nuclear explosion in, in the palm of hands there. there's butterflies and apple and it's just really cool like collage work it's really well put together the back cover is really cool at the tra uh, track listing on there and then when you open it up pow a little more collage there it's pretty groovy if you ask me this is you know i think it's a pretty good album by the way so it's definitely not their strongest album but uh, something worth checking out, and you can probably still find it online for, man, I think I got this for like 10 bucks, 11 bucks on the loose of this, which is a hell of a deal for what you get when you think about it, I mean, you can buy a new CD for 10 bucks. Um, this one here, uh, by one of my favorite artists, Sam Beam, Iron and Wine, this is uh, his last full-length album called Kiss Each Other Clean. Look at that artwork. Talk about awesome. Okay, then you go to the back and you see some birds and things in the back there. It's really cool, and it opens up to this. All the track listings on there. And that kind of looks like a flamingo, or not a flamingo, a uh, peacock kind of feather happening on here. I happen to think that's pretty groovy. I don't know, Iron Wine. Definitely, you know, this is an okay album. I mean, it's not my favorite by Iron Wine, but it's, you know, it shows the evolution of an artist again, too, so, which is really kind of neat. Um, if I had Blake's leaves, it would probably get in there a lot easier. <laughs> the flappest ones. And anyway, this is a really cool record that I got a while back at an antique shop. Um, Dead Mint, and it's a German pressing. Um, obviously, somebody uh, had got these overseas when they were stationed in the Army. I think that was what the story was behind it. But anyway, this is Canned Heat, uh, Living the Blues by Canned Heat. Really awesome German pressing. Um, like I said, the jacket is almost mint, except somebody wrote their name on the inside, and I'll show you that in a sec. Here is the back. Look at that groovy, psychedelic 60s artwork back there. How cool is that? And of course, this uh, album has um, Going Up the Country, one of my favorite songs of all time, man. Going Up the Country, Can't Heat, I'll show you that. See, there's Mr. Chuck Boyer who wrote his name on the inside. I'm going to try to find this Chuck Boyer guy. Man, it's just kind of like superimposed in the woods. You know, not the coolest, you know, inner cover, but man, look at that. Just This album cover and the back cover just screams 60s psychedelic. All the way. This is a really good album, too. If you, you prop, Memphis Vinyl Jam and the Misses probably already have it, but um, yeah, I got Can't Heat's first album, too. Man, these guys are rocking. Anyway, yeah, that's all I got for the uh, July contest so far. Like I said, I'll probably end up uh, posting another two, three videos about uh, cool gatefolds and things. I really have to get into my collection and kind of just, you know, I have to reorganize some things anyway. But um, when I do, I'll uh, go ahead and show them. Anyway, thanks for the awesome contest again this month, and I hope you guys are doing well.